welcome to our last tutorial in how to establish the preference settings in ProPresenter 6 to work the way you like to work. Again, to get to preferences, all we do is click on the ProPresenter 6 word in the top left menu. We'll have a drop down and we choose the second one down, which is preferences. We'll have what's now a familiar pop-up menu with nine tabs. Each tab is topped with an icon. In this tutorial, we're just going to deal with the last two. Here we have one called Advanced. And when we click on the Advanced tab, we're dealing with video and audio primarily. In video, we have three options, both for background video and for foreground video. They're all three the same. What do the, what's the difference between these three options? Let's go through them. If we use stretch to fill, what that will do is that will disregard the aspect ratio of your image and stretch it as best as it can to fill the entire screen. The only problem with stretch to fill is it may distort the image unless it's very close in aspect ratio to the size of the screen. This is probably the least used option. The second one we have is called uh, scale to fill. What will happen when you click on this one? This will respect the aspect ratio of your original image and it will fit it within the window, but in the space that doesn't fit, you will have a black border, usually at the top or bottom, or in some cases on the right side or the left side. So you will see the image undistorted, but you will have some black on the screen. The third option that we have in each of these is scale to fit. What does that mean? Well, scale to fit will make the image as large as it possibly can, and it will fill the screen, but it will crop the image so that parts of it are not probably visible because it wants to give you a true picture of the image undistorted. It doesn't fit the screen, so it overlays the border outside of your screen. So those are the three options on how to deal with importing videos. Then we have a video playback option. Basically, all this does is this reassigns the features of the spacebar. Normally in ProPresenter 6, the spacebar advances from one slide to the next. If you use a lot of video, you can reassign the spacebar by clicking this white box here. What it will do is if a video is playing and you hit the spacebar, it will stop it. If a video is paused and you hit the spacebar, it will start it. So it's kind of your handy dandy on off switch in a video environment. And so you can reassign the spacebar to this particular key. Under audio, you can control the audio channels depending on the audio system in your house and an audio delay in milliseconds if that's required by the hardware you have in your audio system. The last option is render output as anamorphic. That's a fancy way of saying if your image is 16 by 9, and the screen is showing the image on a 4 by 3 ratio. If you click this box, it will convert 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. So that's the features of the Advanced tab. One more to go. It's our Modules tab. Now the Modules tab basically contains items that are extra to the base package of ProPresenter 6 that are developed by the ProPresenter people that you can buy and use in your uh, display system. Uh, it contains all these various options. Now the nice thing is, is you notice the buy button, but you can try before you buy. And the way you do that is you click on the demo model button at the bottom. And it says, when the demo model is enabled, a watermark will appear on your output. You can experiment with a demo model, but if you're running a demo model in a live situation, there will be a watermark on the output screen. And all those who visit the presentation or see the presentation will see the watermark in the background. Probably not something you want to do. But if you do click on the OK here, I'll show you what happens. A 
I click on OK. It says modules running in demo mode and I have even more tabs that give me features of my demo modules. I'm going to uncheck that because this is what we normally don't see. But if you want to experiment with these extra features at an extra price from ProPresenter 6, this is where you go to try or to buy. Thank you for the opportunity to show you how to set your preferences in ProPresenter 6. We trust that this fourth lesson in configuring your preferences in ProPresenter 6 has been useful for you. If it has, we ask you to like us and subscribe to the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.